is for terminus. You know. Although, sad. Sad bit here. Just got the smooshies. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? So, this one says... Uh, bread basket of Europe. With the guy with a bird uh, on his hat, because sure, why not? And then sunflowers, I assume. Don't know what any of that means. Uh, but I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, so apparently the Ukraine uh, is the breadbasket of Europe. Have we been to the Ukraine? If not, or, you know, if so, we're gonna find out in about five seconds because I'll add in a clip, like, right here. <laughs> it is the Ukraine! Oh! If not, then we're just gonna keep going. Anywho, so welcome to the Ukraine, where apparently men wear birds on their hats and, uh, sing through tubes. I don't know. I'm sure something will explain in our little booklet. If you're new to this, this is Universal Gums. And uh, they send stuff like this, and then on the back you get uh, other things. You can write your yums and do little fun puzzles and whatnot. Ukraine! The sheep! Look, sheep! There's also this little book that says all sorts of things. So, uh, apparently, uh, maybe we haven't been here before because it says this box has been a long time in the making. Ukraine has had quite the journey to establishing... Who, sometimes y'all need to proofread your stuff because I'm reading it and I'm just like, the sentence is, mm, it ain't right. Anyway, uh, it's had quite the journey to establish its independence. Located in a region rich with valuable natural resources, the country has been ruled by several nations throughout its history. First with Poland, then Austria-Hungary, and then in 1922 it became part of the Soviet Union, remaining under the USSR rule for nearly 70 years. But with the collapse of the USSR in 1991... Ah, oh, did you hear that crack? Oh my god, my neck, why? Maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. Ukraine finally gained independence. Yeah, uh, good, because my neck hurts. Uh, becoming the second largest nation in Europe. Though, uh, through its long and storied history, this resilient country has kept its rich culture alive. From traditional celebrations, to intricate art techniques, to a flavorful and one-of-a-kind one cuisine. Unsure of what to expect from this incredible country? Just know that everything in your box this month has withstood the test of time, and all for a good reason. Let's get this journey going! So there's all kinds of things in here. Oh, these look like giant fries. But we'll start with something smaller. Oh look, chocolate, chocolate, potentially chocolate wafers, more boom snacks. I don't know, there's a lion and some sauce. I don't know, it's <laughs> lion sauce. So here's the yum bag. It's a tiny little bag. It includes little tiny snacky goodness. The tiny creature is looking at me. You can't have any of this. I'm sorry. Where's my knife? Let's see. Let's find out what's in the yum bag. Uh, no. Maybe we'll eat something out here. Ooh, let's eat this uh, potentially strawberry candy. At least it makes me think of those strawberry candies. Let's do that. We'll start with that. Let's find the young sex bun. What kind of food is this? No, for real, what kind of food is this? Like, what? what is happening here? I don't understand. Like, what? 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 <clears throat> so this is a uh, Russian ladybird. Assorted fruit gummies with juice fillings. Oh, okay, I thought there was air and I wasn't touching the gum, but I guess it's gummy. More gummies. Let's see how they stand up to Japanese gummies, because I gotta say, Japanese gummies, pretty good. Lucky you! Today you get to try Luca <laughs> Today you get to try Ukraine's lucky ladybird candy. Enjoy it across the Oh Ladybird. Um Ladybugs. Okay, cool. I forgot that that was the alternate name. Enjoy it across the country on birthdays and special occasions. What makes it lucky? According to a Christian legend, Europe was once flooded with swarms of aphids. That sucks. Small ants insects that cause plants to bolt. Yeah, they literally go <laughs> and suck out the plant juice. No! that caused incredible destruction to fields upon fields of crops. When the panic-stricken farmers prayed to the Virgin Mary for help, strange red spotted bugs began appearing, gobbling up the pesky aphids and saving the crops. The grateful farmers named the bugs Our, Lady Be Our Lady's Beetles, which eventually changed to the name Ladybugs. Ah, oh, I didn't know that was the name. Uh, or the origin of the name. And since then, ladybugs have been a sign of luck and success throughout Europe. 
Beneath this candy's bright spotted wrapper is a delightfully chewy texture in sweet and tangy flavors like pear, raspberry, grapefruit, apple, and strawberry. Getting a chance to try this candy is a lucky thing indeed. Everybody likes ladybugs. I like ladybugs. I keep the aphids off my plants when I plant plants. When I plant plants for my plants. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna have some, uh, oh, it's even shaped like a lily bug. I don't know if this will show up, but it's got like indentations and watch if you can see the, the buggy there. Um, different flavors, so maybe this will be orange. It smells like orange. Oh. Mm. It's got a bit of goo on the inside, also not orange. I think it's more of a, um, what were the options? What is it? I forget. Apricot, pear, raspberry, grapefruit, apple, strawberry. I don't know which one this is. Unless those are just some of them. I could see it being grapefruit, I guess. It's good though. Yeah, I mean, either way. I don't know what I'm eating, but it's good. <laughs> Let's see the other one, because why not? Maybe it'll be a different flavor. Ah! And it is the exact same color, so I'm assuming it's gonna be the exact same flavor. Is it different? No, this is different. This is raspberry? I don't see the same color. What's happening? No, this is more of like a raspberry-ish kind of flavor. Hmm. Again, good. <clears throat> As I inhale it. Alright, Ukraine. You got some pretty good uh, gummies. I will say that they are good enough to rival Japan's. So, Japan, Ukraine, fight! Ugh. Have your hair in a bun for too long. It hurts your brain! Let's do something crunchy. Like, these things that look like fries. Potato. Boom. Boom! Uh, these are onion flavored. So they're gonna taste like onions. Clearly. Let's see if I can find the pages. So this is the uh, potato and onion potato boom. French fries. Hot, greasy, crispy, and salty. They're the quintessential American snack. And maybe the quintessential Ukrainian snack too. Oh, wow. In Ukraine, they serve a delectable dish called pen fried potatoes, consisting of sliced potatoes fried in oil. Hey! While they might sound the same as french fries, there are two major differences. First, instead of being dunked in a fryer, they're browned on a stovetop. I mean, is there still oil? Two, they've got onions. Okay. Before adding the potatoes, locals saute onions in butter, giving the dish a rich, savory, caramelized flavor. Luckily, you can experience Ukraine's oniony treat for yourself with this schnackified version of pan fried potatoes. Although we should warn you, after one bite of these, you'll definitely want to try making some of your own. Look on the back of your Ukrainian map to get on Think Tech recipe. Ah! My map's up there. Can you see it? Wait, hold on. Right up. Boop! Right there. Anywho, let's eat some potato. Boom! It's a it's a, a hit snack, some might say. The bag, the bag goes, the bag goes Alright, so they look like... They look like a French fries. In a bag. It's the first one. Smells like onions. They're slightly more airy than I expected them to be, in a weird way. And yet, somehow, not? I don't know. It's hard to describe. They're good, but the texture is interesting. It's like. It's kind of crunchy, but. I don't know. It's really hard to describe. You wouldn't think it would be being like, you know, a crunchy chip thing, but somehow it is. I don't know. It's good, though. It's a good snack. Good potato onion snack. And then when you're done, you can just go up to people and go, hi. And they're like, oh. So you can do that to your enemies. But I'm up for pan fried potatoes anytime. So uh, get yourself some oniony crunchies, because, um, they're good. I mean, that's what you'd expect. It's potatoes and onion flavor. Kind of hard to go wrong with that. Back by request. Whoa! Tiny Doug! Hello! 
You don't need to lick my face. I gave you an entire plate to lick this morning, which I don't normally do, by the way. Had some eggy on it and some veggies. Very healthy, wholesome. Yes, you liked it, didn't you? Tony Doug! Was it good? Was it good? Alright, now then, you have to read with me. Or I have to read one handed because I have you here. Must support you because you are a tiny dog with, and you have to make sure your back isn't on ouchie. Or going to be an ouchie. Uh, Alright. Hi there. How are you doing? So we have, I think we've had this chocolate before, this Oroshin uh, chocolate. Fix your, fix your butt. There you go. Alright, stop, stop, stop. I love you, but stop. Alright, so this is Oroshin creme brulee chocolate. Oh, it does not say that uh, anywhere on the packaging, but okay. It's a uh, milk chocolate with creme brulee filling. Don't, don't turn into a wiggly fishy. All right. So, the United States and Ukraine have one very major thing in common. They've both elected famous businessmen as president. I feel like this sounds familiar. Ukraine's current president, uh, Petro Poroshenko, is also the owner of the largest candy company, Roshan. I have read this before. The last time we had Roshan candy, we have gone through this. But that's okay. For those of you who haven't seen that video, here you go. The... Name was taken from his last name, Poroshenko. Nicknamed the Chocolate King, Petro started the company in 1966 after buying several failing candy factories from the bank. Today, his candy empire has become the 24th largest in the world, with more than 1.5 billion in annual sales. In September 2017, uh, President Poroshenko and President Trump met for the first time to discuss the United States' support of Ukraine. So, while we don't know their full conversation, they probably didn't talk about chocolate bars. That's a shame. You should always discuss food. Why? Just because. For no reason. Literally no reason. Uh, so instead, we will. This milk chocolate bar, inspired by the famous French dessert, is filled with a gooey caramel filling, cr caramel cream filling, pardon me, and has been enjoyed by Ukrainians for over a decade. Sit back, enjoy it, and try not to think too much about politics. Isn't that right? Tiniest boy. Now then. Here comes the, the good stuff that you don't get to have. I know, I'm sorry. It breaks your tiny dog heart, but it's not good for you. It's bad for you. It has things in it that's not that's not healthy. So we got our shiny foil. And uh, it's already broke. Oh, it, oh no, oh no, it's all gone terribly wrong. I wonder if this was in that, there's that part in the box that was smashed. I wonder if this uh, felt some of the brunt of the smashage because it's kind of... It's already brought. No. Okay, well, we're gonna move that so you can't reach it because it's not for you. Uh. Break it in half. Get that nice ooey gooeyness. There we go. He's just gonna lay in my lap, which is good because I'm trying to eat this and not have him fall over. Uh, so, uh, smells good. Cheers. Not often I have chocolate with creme brulee filling. It's good. I think I prefer regular caramel personally. But the chocolate itself is pretty good. Very smooth. I don't say the creme brulee in itself. At a few turns. Not necessarily a gritty texture. I don't even really like using that word. But it's just not quite as smooth as caramel can be, you know? So I don't know what that might have been. But, um... Uh. Yeah, it's not quite as smooth as caramel. So I'm not sure what's in the creme brulee part uh, to do that. But it's fine. It still makes for a good dessert. It's still quite tasty. So I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my bar. And somebody... Ready? Hi there. <laughs> Just popping up. Hi. You are back by a popular demand. The people want a tiny doggo. You have to look that way though. That's where the people are. Say hi. Hi to people. I realize that's hard to do when I smell like chocolate and when there's a window with blinds for you to look out because you like looking at birds and things. Don't you? Alright. That's what we got for now. So, uh, see you in five seconds. Two, one, whatever. Mostly. Let's see some more stuff. This is, hmm, already sounds interesting because it's wafers with cheese curd and chocolate flavored filling. What even? So we've got uh, 
Slastic curd waffles. Curd waffles might not elicit any oohs and ahs from, well, anybody. <laughs> but keep an open mind. Cheese curd is Ukraine's most popular type of cheese, devoured plain or incorporated into traditional dishes like um, Sriniki curd pancakes and Nalasiniki curd crepes. I apologize for if, however, I've said that wrong, probably. Can't even speak English, so it's okay. In fact, curd is such an important cheese product that the Ukrainian word for it, sir, S Y R, uh, literally translates to cheese. But making this local favorite is no walk in the park. First, a mixture of milk and buttermilk must be baked, then placed in a warm room for 24 hours. Mmm, tasty. The mixture is then heated with this on a stove and placed back in the room for another 24 hours. It's then heated once more before being placed in a cheesecloth and hung about 8 to 10 hours. The result, a soft, delicate cheese that looks like a cross between feta and cream cheese, with a mild, nutty taste that complements both the sweet and savory dishes. So don't let their name scare you. A flaky texture and a rich chocolate taste, these wafers are seriously delicious. That only shows me that I've been pronouncing it right. Huzzah. Yeah, the, the, the name cheese curd does not inspire deliciousness, but when it's described like that, it's like, oh, okay, alright. I can, it's fine. I can get behind that. It's kind of like, uh, mascarpone or just kind of some of those sweeter, desserty cheeses. Ooh, it's like a big, it's a big fat wafer. This one don't play around. Have you ever had nutty bars? It's kind of like a, that's what it makes me think of. It makes me think of a nutty bar, kind of. It smells good, honestly. It does smell really good, so uh, let's bite into it. You see the layers? Ooh, the layers. It's going to be crumbly. It's already crumbly. Yeah, so. That's pretty good. I, it's like hard to differentiate the cheese out of the chocolate bit, but it's like a mellow, sweet, uh, creamy something or other. I wonder if I could. Oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is this blasphemy, Ukraine? I'm sorry. Yeah, the cheese, the cheesy stuff by itself. I mean, I'm trying to figure out if it's like legit, like cheese curd stuff, or if it's just like imitation uh, thereof. But even by itself, it's real good. So this is a, an interesting little uh, little wafer. I like how it's like some of the other wafer things I get. It's just real thin, but this is thick. This is wafer thick with two C's. Thick. Mm. Even if it doesn't uh, focus, but that's okay. So yes, uh, cheese curd yay, uh, plus wafers yay, and chocolate yay, so all things uh, yay. A lot. We're here with Tiny Dog already. Except I need to scoot in. Hello. Huh. Hello! Where's the booklet? Brutus, we've started and we've already lost all the things. Oh my god, it's up there. Hold on. Alright. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to, uh, you may notice a few things different. No, I don't know, you don't know what you're talking about. Nothing's different, it's all the same. Oh, <laughs> Did you sneak attack? Oh, what a nap. Anyway, you know how long it takes to get your hair dyed and cut like this? Three hours! Yeah, three hours. It's okay, it's worth it. It's so pretty. I get to be Android 18 again. Yay! In case any of you didn't know, I cosplay as Android 18. Not very often, just every now and again. But we're not here for that. Oh no, pen why? We're here for the yum's bag. Or, I'm sorry, the yum bag. Or at least what's left of it. Which is uh, all of the uh, two things. Same brand, different flavors. Minky Binky. Alright then. Also by Roshan. Roshan owns everything in Ukraine. Ooh, okay. Minky Binky. Uh, assorted fruit caramels. I've, you know, I feel like I've had a uh, fruit caramel. Uh, before. I don't know how I feel about caramely fruity stuff, but whatever. Uh, see the little cartoon monkey in this yum's wrapper? I have! I did. I didn't show you guys. He's very excited. He's bringing you all sorts of delicious things, like this strawberry or these blueberries. Delicious. There we go. Anywho. And, uh, that's Minky Minky. Monkey. Minky Minky Monkey. Parker. 
Why monkey? For starters, this soft and milky sweet uh, was introduced in Ukraine in the year 2016. No, oh, that's not that old. Uh, which was the year of the monkey in the Chinese zodiac calendar. But this quirky character also represent, represents the product itself, a fun tropical twist on milky caramels. It quickly became one of Ukraine's most popular sweets. The Minky Binky was also the first milk caramel. Also, I usually just say caramel, but if there's it's when it's when it's spelled with the C A R A M E L instead of just C A R M E L, I my brain tends to want to say caramel. But it's irrelevant. Uh, anyway, it uh, it's the first one to incorporate real fu fruit juices. As it turns out, this monkey business was a complete success. Oh, so they just uh, were seeing what it was. Okay. Not only was it the top-selling candy in Ukraine in 2016, but three years later, it still remains a hit among locals. We have a feeling you'll go bananas for it, too. Why didn't you give me a banana What? No, that's fine. I admit, it, banana don't really have ooh, banana juice. That just sounds awkward. You know what? I like. I really like strawberry, so let's do strawberry last. We'll start with the, the blueberry. Ooh, and inside the wrapper we have shiny silver wrapper. And inside we have usual looking caramel thing. Just, you know, hot. So it's a whole caramel. There's no juice inside. It's just within the caramel. Interesting. So it's like I'm eating a caramel, but I get blueberry hints happening. And real blueberry too. It's not like you can kind of tell what's fake blueberry, and when you have like, like a pancake and there's blueberries in it, you're like, oh, blueberry, or muffin, real blueberry. It's just it's cute. It's chewy like a caramel, but it's not like sticky like a caramel. You know, like when you have like a caramel caramel and you're eating it, you're like, oh, it wants to stick to your teeth and stuff. This doesn't seem to want to do that, which is nice. What are you doing over there? It's a lot of caramel. Give me a second. So it does get a little bit sticky. It's like in a, when a bit decides to not even not really even on so much sticky, but just like a piece just like slides off and gets like stuck up in your gums, and you're like mm -hmm, like a dog eating peanut butter, that kind of thing. Not mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Okay, so blueberry is good. Rinse our palate with the yay good old lemon. Gumming cup. Ah, fresh. It matches my hair. Uh -huh. Kinda, not really. The strawberries next. I'm looking forward to strawberry. I think of strawberry caramel stuff. Just you know, it's very nice looking caramel too. Just like you know. Oh. I feel like maybe I should have bit it in half instead of just shoving it in my mouth. Like a greedy creature. It also seems to take like a little bit for the actual fruit to start circulating in your mouth. Because when you first chomp it on it, you're like, it, there's like a hint of it, but it's not real strong, but it seems to get stronger like as you eat. And the caramel's not real sweet either, which is really nice because a lot of caramels are like super sugary, you know? This is more of, this is a milk, milky type, so it's not. You know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna rot your teeth. You're just like, oh, this is a nice, chewy, you know, smooth candy of sorts. The strawberry, in this case. A mucky ghoul. Okay. So, minky minky. Monkey candy. It's pretty good. So, get your hands on different flavors. They show, uh, there's a strawberry in the picture, and then that looks like an orange. So, they don't say which flavors there are, but. Uh, the more you can try, the the better you are because delicious. I've got stuff to eat. Never mind that it's late at night. My God, snacky, looking cool. <sighs> Let's start with some more potato. Explosion noise. La, 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 la. Okay, so the the there's is that a ch wait is that a chicken? What is this? Oh wait, potato veal and ajika ajika flavor something. Uh hmm, I thought it was chicken. It's veal. So means we have to find it in no. Alrighty, uh does not contain meat says the doodad. So just meat flavoring. 
every country has a favorite condiment. The U.S. has ketchup, Italy has pesto, Mexico has salsa, and Ukraine, they have anjika. Uh, provided I'm pronouncing that right. This mildly spicy sauce is made with carrots, tomatoes, garlic, interesting, and chili pepper and serves as an accompaniment to, well, pretty much everything. It's slathered on bread, poured into soup, drizzled atop veggies, mixed into scrambled eggs, and most commonly paired with meat. In fact, the name comes from the word salt, which should give you an indication of how pervasive the condiment is. Ooh. Now it's time for you to try it. See if you can taste the spices, basil, paprika, chili, garlic, bay leaves, that make up the distinctive flavor, distinctive pungent flavor. Then see if you agree with the statement. We just found your new favorite condiment. <gasps> so I guess is that a, I guess that's a bowl full of it down in the corner here. This um, where this. <laughs> Who's my what's this stuff? One might say. And now the real test of, of everything. Opening the bag. Ooh, meat. Right away, meat. Smoky. Savory. Try one. More fries. Mmm, interesting. You know, I've never had veal. I don't think I ever will. I can't bring myself to eat veal. If you don't know what veal is, go Google it and you'll... Mm -hmm. But anyway, no real meat, so I'm fine. I'll take imitation meat flavor. Ooh, big one. It is different, but it is good. I really don't know how to describe it. Like, I can taste some of the things that they mentioned, but it's all blending in together in such a way. Like, you get the spice, but then you also have the veal happening, so... So it's like a meaty, spicy, crunchy snack. Hmm. Indeed different. Not like anything else I've had in any boxes before. So... This one I appreciate, for sure. Let's eat some more stuff. I don't, I don't have normal food schedules at my workplace, so I come home and I'm hungry. So let's go with this. The lion seems to be having a field day with his snackums. No, no, we're not gonna focus. Uh, too bad. <coughs> Anywho, mm, he's holding some chips or something. Uh. Oh, <laughs> the English side says golden chips. Hey! Alright, these are dill and sour cream golden chips. Potato crisps with dill and sour cream. Uh, these chips are kind of a big dill. <laughs> no, really. Uh, chips, uh, uh, zolotisi? Zolotisi? Golden chips aren't just one of the most sought after chips and snacks in Ukraine, they're also one of the most unique. Unlike ordinary sliced potato chips, golden chips are made from mashed potatoes, then dried and cut to create delicate paper thin sheets. In the past 15 years, these flaky yums have become a household staple, beloved for their crispy texture and authentic local flavors. The ones we're selected for you are loaded with cool sour cream and fresh dill, a flavor combo found in one of Ukraine's most famous dishes. Oh no! Huh! Here we go. Krip, uh, kartoplia. It, I don't have any idea what the letter Z is sound is supposed to make when it's just there by itself. Z. I don't know. I, I, I've got nothing. Uh, so the letter Z. Uh, Vershkami. Young potatoes with sour cream dill. Ta-da! Getting to try a Ukrainian classic and a unique potato chip on one's neck. As we said, a big dill. Alright, look. You made the joke. You don't need to make it twice. What are you doing? What's happening? Why, why, what are you doing? What you doing there for? Oh, I feel like this has already have failed me. It's supposed to be a pull thing, and it's just kind of let itself go and not, not done it correctly. Oh, they're individually wrapped after you open the box. Oh, oh, oh. oh wait, no, they're not. It's just in a box, in a bag. In a bag, in a box. Box bag. Bag box. Box box. Oh, they are paper thin. Okay. Luckily, they're in a box. That would explain why they're in a box. So they don't break. So let's see if we can slide one of these bitters on out of here. Maybe. 
Look at that. Oh, you can barely even see it on the screen. Oh, paper thin sheets. Get ready for crumblies. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So it has a different um, texture than potato chip, obviously, because it was never just fried up, you know? It was just mashed up and then crisped up, so to speak. The sour cream and dill is, you know, it's there. Not overpowering, pretty mellow. I wonder what kind of potatoes these are, huh? Because, I mean, I mean, they don't make me think of potatoes, which is weird. I don't know if it's the texture or the flavor. They're probably both, honestly. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't know if there's a right way to eat these or not, but not too bad. I think I like the boom, the boom chips better. But you know what, Ukraine? If you dig your paper thin, long strips of mashed dried potatoes, have fun. Let's finish with some dessert. Dark chocolate with caramel and cinnamon. Interesting. Caramel taste, it says. Uh, this is uh, Chardet. Chardy. It's an apostrophe E. Cinnamon caramel chocolate. I've never had uh, chocolate with cinnamon, so this will be interesting. Confession. No one is eating this chocolate in Ukraine. Okay. To be clear, these chocolates are extremely popular, just not right now. Okay. You see, over 75% of Ukrainians practice Orthodox Christianity and are currently in the middle of a great fast, uh, a Lenten period from March 11th to April 27th. Uh, okay, I see what saying. During which foods like dairy, eggs, meat, and sugar are strictly avoided. As this yum contains both milky chocolate and sugary caramel, it's pretty much off limits for locals participating in the great fast. But it won't be that way for long, given this chocolate's creamy texture and sweet cinnamon flavor. Be glad you can try it now before it starts flying off store shelves again next month. <gasps> it wouldn't matter to me, because I'm not there in the Ukraine to eat it anyway. Oh no, this box is already confounding me. Wait, this one's already open. Ish. More. <laughs> Goody. Oh, oh, fancy. So it slides out in a little tray. And it's got its own little, little announcement of... This is the type of chocolate I am. Look at me, I'm oh. aww. I went from being really fancy to just the saddest person ever. We're just gonna pick one up from off the ground here and just eat it like a normal human being. I don't know how I feel about the cinnamon thing. It's in there. I don't know. I don't know if I'm into it. So like this has like a... Oh no, that's a cinnamon stick image. I thought it was supposed to be like a... or something else. Well, crap stuff from over here in front of me. Well in front of me. The chocolate's pretty good. The caramel's not too bad. I mean, it's all pretty standard. It just looks like a basic caramel. But the cinnamon has its own thing happening. But, uh, 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 uh. Nothing wrong with it, I'm just not used to it and I'm not sure I'm really into it. Sorry I threw your chocolate on the ground though, shouty. Natural sweets. My bad. We forgot to read the clue the entire time. That whole thing we just did. We dotted all sorts of stuff and there's no clue. What are we gonna do? What? You're a weirdo. You want to read this clue, and then I'll put you back in your cozy spot? No? Okay, well, say goodbye if you want to go back in your cozy Okay, okay, okay. Alright, now that he's cozy, here's the clue to next month's box. Golden rocks, gorgeous gardens, a very holy wall, rocky deserts, salty seas, this country has it all. We didn't even mention all the yums that you can eat. Popping chocolate, pomegranate, and a special nutty treat. What is a holy wall? What's the dead salt seed next to? I need a map. I need a map for when I do these things. My brain kind of wants to think like 
Jordan. But I'm not sure if that's correct or not. You know, it would have been delicious if we had had the Yum Yum or Super Yum box, now that I'm looking at it, because one of those would have had Choco Pizza. Look at that. It's just a pizza with different chocolate things on it. Milk and dark chocolate slices with eight unique toppings. What? That's okay. Ukraine, you were delicious. If I've had you before, uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, everything in here is pretty good. I had a good time. I like the yum bag. I like all the extra snackies. So, <sighs> on to the next.